If that stainless steel becomes part of the conducting circuit, it's going to become extremely hot. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How To Ask the Expert series. We're Nigel and Jan, and today we're here in Hamburg at the warehouse of my wholesale company to show you some practical stuff. We have a question from one of our students uh, who's asking, I have two ANL fuses in the charge circuits that get up into the 50 Celsius or 60 degrees Celsius temperature range. This is not a connection or terminal installation issue, but seems to be the fuse itself. I swapped out the stainless post and used brass bolts and washers only to have the same 150 amp ANL fuse in the middle, creating heat and transferring it down the lines. If this is normal, I'm okay with that. But if it is not, I would like to get it rectified with the appropriate parts. Any direction you can steer me. Well, Nigel, what's your take on that? So there's, there's quite a bit to unpack here. Uh, first of all, we've, we've got the fuse here, 150 amp ANL fuse, to give mm. you an example of what they look like. A fuse is a thermal device. So if it's running at close to its rated amp rating, it's going to get hot. Yeah. Because it, it's got to get hot in order to melt. Yeah. And it's going to blow soon after that. So uh, yes, uh, it's perfectly normal for these fuses to get pretty hot if you're running them close to their f fuse rating, which it sounds to me like he is. Mm -hmm. It's in his uh, charging circuits. He's probably got lithium-ion batteries. Yeah. He's got a powerful alternator, and uh, it's, the circuit's running close to its rated ampacity for an extended period of time. But most of these devices that we've got, that we put into our circuits, the fuse holders and the other bits and pieces in the system are actually rated at, at uh, 50 or 60 C. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the maximum temperature they're supposed to be. And they're relying on the heat to get conducted away from the device through the conductors. Mm -hmm. So if this is an American boat, we don't know uh, where this came from, it may well have 105 degree centigrade conductors. Mm -hmm. And if he's running those close to their rated ampacity, they're actually putting heat into the system rather than taking it out. Mm. So there's a, there's a separate issue there that, that we don't know. Uh, and then he mentioned the fact that he took the stainless steel out of the circuit and it didn't make any difference. Well, that's because the fuses, we can expect them to get hot. But let's talk about the stainless steel issue. Yeah. Uh, right here we have stainless steel bolts, we have stainless steel nuts, mm. and we have stainless steel washers. Yeah. So and look at this from the side. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Stainless steel has 8% the conductivity of copper, or thereabouts. So if the stainless steel becomes part of the conducting circuit, especially we're talking 150 amps, and if the fuses are getting hot, we're talking 150 amps for quite a period of time. If that stainless steel becomes part of the conducting circuit, it's gonna become extremely hot. So that might also be part of the problem here. These are typically installed horizontally in a boat, and the boat builder builds the boat and leaves the fuses out until they're done, and then they come to put fuses in. So let's take a look at this little process here. We've got a, we've got a terminal, we have a washer, we're mounted horizontally, we loosen the nut, and we go to stick the fuse in, and look what happens. We get it on top of the washer. It happens all the time. That stainless steel washer is now part of the conducting circuit. So we start to run this thing at 150 amps, that washer is going to get hot enough over time to melt down the, the, uh, the bracket here, the fuse holder. Yeah. And when that melts down, we're going to get a loose connection in here. And then we're going to get an arcing fault. Mm -hmm. And we have a potential fire on the boat or else the heat's going to be transmitted into the fuse and nuisance blow the fuse. Which is in this case, the better. better Which is option. the better, but, but let's say this is on a alternator circuit. Mm -hmm. You know, we're charging the batteries. Mm -hmm. We've got an alternator running at 150 amps. Yeah. We blow the fuse, we destroy the diodes in the alternator. Yeah. And we've had that happen mm -hmm. on multiple occasions. Yeah. All because of a stainless steel washer in the wrong yeah. place. Just to get this clear, because he also mm -hmm. said that he replaced the post with brass, right. which is actually, that's not necessary. I mean, it's totally fine to have posts and, and washers and nuts mm -hmm. being made of stainless steel. It's actually a good option. Just make sure that you have the fuse in direct contact with the with the terminal, so right. either on top or below, yes. but not have any stainless steel washer in between them. Right, exactly. And that's the point. Yep, and that's the whole point. The stainless is just holding things together, mm -hmm. and it doesn't in any way become part of the conducting circuit. Exactly. And incidentally, brass has 
28% the conductivity of copper. So it's if, you're, that much if it's part of the conducting circuit, which again, you don't want it to be, uh, you need four times the mass to, to carry the current. So once again, the brass shouldn't be, hold, shouldn't be part of the circuit. It's just holding things together. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the key thing in all of this is to make sure that the, the fasteners are, are literally holding the two conducting surfaces against each other. Yeah. And, and not, not be part of the and circuit. And not becoming yeah. part of the circuit, yes. Yeah. Yeah, especially with these kind of slide and fuses, right. it's quite easy to slide it on. I see it all the time, station. and I see it a lot on new boats, yeah. straight from the boat builder, um, because they did put the fuses in at the end of the build process, yeah. and they weren't paying attention. Exactly. So basically, make sure there's a direct connection, like the fuse is directly on top or below the terminal, yep. and not yep. uh, don't have any washers or, or nuts or anything. I had it on my own boat from the boat builder. Uh, uh, well, yep. <laughs> you know what you're looking at, but right. most people yes. don't. So, yeah. So this is actually something. I mean, we've been talking about that already here on YouTube, and mm -hmm. it's also part of our boat electrical courses at uh, boathowto.com. And we actually talk a lot more about details for safe and, in this case, also reliable installation. Um, also, stuff that's not in the standard, but that's good practice and makes actually sure that you're. Mm -hmm connection is safe and not just safe, but also reliable. Well, this is an example, this, it's not in the standard. Yeah. If the fuse blows, yeah, it, it doesn't uh, sacrifice the safety, but it does sacrifice your reliability right. and yeah. might even blow your alternator. If yeah, you and a boat get. might be dead in the water, which yeah. is a safety issue. Yeah. So, yeah. So, to learn more about this stuff, check out boathowto.com and in particular our Boat Electrics 101 course where we talk a lot about this installation. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you soon here at Boat How To. Stay tuned.